I am Sean Mussenden. I have two roles at the college. The first is as data editor for the Howard Center for Investigative Journalism. Uh, and then I'm also a senior lecturer and I teach data journalism, computational journalism, and investigative reporting. Pretty excited, starting in the fall, we are going to be offering a uh, fully online available master's degree in data journalism. Uh, it's a master's of professional studies. Uh, students can do online or in person or a mix of the two. Uh, and it's being co-taught with uh, the iSchool, which is the College of Information Studies on campus. Uh, the iSchool does a lot of things, but data science, data analytics is a, a big piece of, of their work. We've been planning it for the last uh, couple years, uh, and the idea is students would get a fully realized master's degree from the University of Maryland. Many of the courses they take will be taught within the journalism school. Um, a lot of those focused on how journalists apply data and programming techniques to the acquisition and storytelling of data um, with data. Uh, and in the iSchool, they'll take a lot of, of courses in um, information theory, but also um, some practical hands-on uh, courses in advanced data science methodology, including machine learning uh, and, and other interesting classes, working with big data sets, billions of records, that kind of thing. We often hear people, when we talk about data journalism, the joke is, oh, I'm so bad at math, I could never do that. Uh, and then honestly, could not be further from the truth. Um, at its lowest level, the place where we introduce things to people, um, data journalism is not about advanced math or calculus or any of those things. Uh, at higher levels, you know, you can start to incorporate some of those concepts, but um, really what we're teaching people are uh, how to think logically, how to um, develop interesting questions that are based on uh, reporting uh, that can be answered by acquiring, understanding, interviewing data sets. Uh, regardless of whether you want to specialize or regardless of whether you want to, um, you know, cover a beat or um, do uh, be a podcaster um, doing uh, narrated podcasts, um, some facility with data is going to be important no matter what beat you have. And so um, our overall plan is everybody gets a taste of it and people who want to go deeper uh, are able to pursue that. Uh, so the Howard Center for Investigative Journalism is a nonprofit investigative reporting unit that is based within the Philip Merrill College of Journalism. Uh, it brings students, uh, faculty members who have long experience uh, with investigative reporting as professionals, uh, and professional partners, newsrooms, including places like NPR or the Associated Press or PBS NewsHour. Uh, to work on projects uh, together. So we have students who are enrolled in classes and we have students who are um, working uh, as part of fellowships who are involved in these investigations. Um, really deeply reported things that often take a semester, sometimes two, uh, to fully report out. Um, and uh, uh, data analysis is central to all of that, a sort of a, a, a cornerstone of modern investigative reporting is um, acquisition of um, documents, unstructured data, uh, structured data, things we think of as like databases and spreadsheets, um, and using that in combination with more traditional reporting techniques to identify patterns, to prove certain things, and to identify characters that help us uh, tell stories. What that tells me, the fact that people, you know, keep coming back to teach at this place is one that we're, you know, preparing people for the rigors of, of um, uh, the professional journalism world. Um, and um, two is, I think people who graduate from here, you know, once they go out into the world, realize this place is pretty special. It's uh, uh, sm on the smaller side. It's focused solely on journalism. And as a college, you know, even predating my time as a student here, we have been laser focused on uh, helping people learn how to become journalists by giving them opportunities both in the classroom and out of the classroom to work on really ambitious uh, professional quality work. And, um, you know, I, I've never seen 
you know, people ask, you know, oh, you were a journalist and now you're a teacher. And my answer to that is, no, I'm a journalist. I used to work exclusively doing journalism, and now I do journalism and teach people uh, at the same at the same time. Um, you know, this place has always felt to me like um, a working news operation that has a really robust education arm, and um, uh, and that's I think why we keep bringing back a lot of faculty members.